Hey guys, Jagus here. This is Jagus Reviews. All right, today we are going to be doing uh, unboxing and sound test. This is the Zealot S64. Now I've got the Zealot S79 and I love that thing. It sounds great. I think Zealot is a great brand. Um, I have seen some reviewers doing their earlier speakers on and not being as happy with them and stuff like that. It seems like they've kind of got some good ideas of how they want them to sound now and you're not you're getting a lot better processing and different things happening so it'll be interesting to see how this sounds so basically i would say this is somewhere in between the jbl charge 5 and the jbl extreme series um it is it's got four tweeters two on both sides and then a downward firing woofer with passives on the side and we got our TF slot, U-Disc playback, so USB-C playback, aux, wireless music. And it says frequency range 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. So I am not thinking that that's completely accurate. That's kind of what Sony does is just gives you that 20 to 20 on all of the speakers. And then you can connect two of them in TSW. So this is um, around 60 bucks on Amazon. With uh, the coupon that they have going right now, it's all the way down to 47 bucks. So I was like, why not give it a try? See if this is a good little mid-size speaker. But let's go ahead and unbox it. All right, here's the speaker. Now, it does come with, okay, comes with a big carrying case to carry it with. Interesting. And that's actually a nice filling case. And we've got our cords, charging cord, aux cord. Looks like registered products. So they do probably have like warranty and everything else like that. Lifetime warranty. Okay, so cool. Valid within 40 to 5 days of purchase. Now let's take a look at this thing. Oh, this is cool. So it's actually pretty big. It's just a big egg shape. So it's got two passive radiators. I would say those are probably three inch by maybe two inch. And in between, so it's gonna have two tweeters here, another passive there, two more tweeters in this area, I believe. And yeah, passives on the side and then a downward firing uh, woofer. I'm not sure how big it is. I wanna say it's around like four inches. And then you've got your Power in your aux cord, TF card slot, USB read. Uh, so I think you can charge out devices with that. And it should be waterproof and all of that kind of stuff. It does have a little, you can hook it up to like a tripod or, you know, like a little pole mount. So it seems pretty cool. Let's see if we got some juice. And we do. So on top, we've got our power. Our play, pause, EQ, so it's got different EQ modes. Our modes, lights, and that looks like it's to connect party. This is going to be your telling you how much juice your speaker has on top. And then the cool thing is these little passive radiators actually light up, which is pretty cool. So that'd probably be a cool ambiance at night to set. But let's see if it has a little bit of juice in it. Um, let's see how it sounds. Let me hook it up real quick. Alright guys, I got this hooked up. Um, I don't know if ha uh, the juice in it affects it. Like, with that Philips speaker I just did, it definitely needs to be charged full blast. It was almost dead, so it was not giving all of its go. Though it sounded still really good. Hopefully this one isn't affected. So, like I said, I do think this is probably around maybe can compete with like the JBL Extreme. And I know it's about the wattage of the JBL Charge 5. I think this is like 60 watts and I think the Charge 5 is around 60 watts as well, but I could be mistaken. Let's go ahead and play some Mamazula. About 60% up, regular EQ. Try a different EQ. 
you. You will never understand what you put me through. And you never be a good lover. A good lover. At first I believe I was a lucky one. Both but both. I was just fooling myself. Fooling myself. Interesting. <laughs> Do some speed dial. Hey. They've been on it. Drum on the rail. I wrap it, I bag it, I pack it for sale. Got feeling I'll squeeze out and hit me a chill. I give it a thrill. I put it on film. Just so I get a plot, that ain't real. Come to my section and flex, we can tell. I got a show and she dipping them nails. I'm flipping my L's. I know they can tell. I did it too much. They hit me for favors, been hit since the cable was cut in the crater. What's up? Only right that I do it colossal until I'm a fossil. They want me to fail. Look, we put down a little bit. All right, guys. So I think that gives us a good little idea. I'm going to put this up against some of my smaller speakers and stuff, but it actually sounds pretty good. Uh, I'm not getting any distortion from it. It's got a decent amount of bass, depending on what EQ you're using. The vocal EQ is super sparkly and high oriented. This regular EQ, I think, is kind of the full spectrum, and it sounds really good. And then it does have the bass EQ, but it sounds a little bit muffled. Um, let's get it charged up. We'll put it up against a few speakers and see if it holds its own. But for 47 bucks, it's a nice little speaker. It's a good little... It's nice to be able to just carry. It's got good excursion on those passive radiators. It's got a good sound to it. I think it's definitely worth 47 bucks. Let's throw it up against a few other ones and see how it does. But thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe.